What's up? You checking out the Frequent Flyer? And I'm pretty sure you read the title by now, so we're going to just jump right into it. It started out with me trying to tune out this prototype here and all my testing and everything. And I noticed that this had some washout that I was trying to get rid of. And that made me think of this guy here. This is the Isheen trash can. And this thing is a little heavier than the other 2S brushless whoops. And it really shows as when you drop this thing to zero throttle in air mode, it drops like a rocket, descends the fastest out of all of them. And it seems like it washes out the most out of all of them. I actually haven't flown the Mobile S7, but from what I hear, it doesn't have any washout. And I wonder if it's the same reason that I found. Now, anyway, back to it. This thing falls really fast. And I was thinking that there was not enough thrust being generated from these 40 millimeter props at zero throttle. And so that made me think about up in the digital idle speed percentage. So once I got the tune to where I wanted it, I started going up on the digital idle speed percentage. And I started noticing less and less yaw washout. And so once I got to about 14%, there was almost no yaw washout being generated by this guy in the sense and all. I topped off at about 14.5% on the digital idle speed percentage and the yaw washout is completely gone from this guy. And so a pretty awesome thing that I stumbled upon. It does make it a little more floaty than usual. Of course, it always makes your quad a little floaty when you up the digital idle speed percentage. But I, it reminds me of a, I was watching a quadcopter 101 video and he was talking about how one of the quads was too floaty for him. And I left a comment and told him, just fly down. If you're trying to get down fast, you're going to fall the same speed as if you have the digital idle speed lower. If you uh, pitch it all the way, because there's the thrust isn't helping you stay in the air. It's just moving forward at that point. And so this thing flies really nice still. And it has no yaw washout. And so I tried the same thing with this one. The same value yielded the same results with this little guy. This is the Beta 75 Pro 2, a 2S brushless whoop. And so no washout on either of these. And it also worked on this one. The same remedy seems to have worked all the way across the board. This is the Beta 85X. And this thing can take up to a 4S I haven't tried it on 4S, but I'm pretty sure that on 4S, this thing isn't going to wash out with the digital idle speed up. I guess it was just caused by a bunch of disturbance through the air and the props not being able to adjust the yaw correctly or hold the yaw position while it's uh, descending with all that dirty air or all that air being disturbed under it or whatnot. But that's just my theory. But anyhow, the digital idle speed being up to 14.5 has fixed all of my brushless tiny whoops 2S and up. And it sh I don't see why it wouldn't work for 1S brushless whoop, but I haven't tested it. I mainly fly mines indoors, but let's get right to it. I'm going to take you guys outside. We're going to do a night flight and I'm going to show you that this guy doesn't have any washout. into the darkness. <laughs> well, that was a 
was me switching back to angle mode. <laughs> Got too dark for me there. Man, it's dark. Do some more. Uh oh, we're at three point three. Let's not. No washout. 